everyone, I'm Fran Greising. I want to chat with you today about preparing your client for mediation. During our lifetimes, unfortunately, most of us will find that at some point we face a dispute, something that really keeps us up at night and is extremely stressful, something we want to resolve and put behind us. It could be a personal matter like a divorce or God forbid you're in an accident and hurt, or it could be a business matter or an employment matter. Regardless of what type of dispute it is, it's extremely stressful for anyone involved where they have money and other things at stake. So if you're going to accompany your client to a mediation, don't just bring them without preparing them because it can be a shock to them when they don't know what to expect. What I've found is really helpful for clients in preparing for mediation is something I call the care and feeding of clients. What does that mean? What it means is you want to make sure your clients understand in advance what's going to happen when they show up. For example, you don't want them to be surprised when the first thing they're asked to do is go into a joint session with the person who's their arch enemy and not be prepared for that. In addition to that, you want to explain to clients that mediation does not move swiftly. You can spend hours and hours sitting in a room, unfortunately, sometimes without windows, without refreshments, waiting for the mediator to come back and join you and tell you what the other side has just said. It's helpful if your clients know that's going to come and they also bring things to keep themselves occupied, whether it's a book, some knitting or something else to do, that will make the time go faster and take away some of their stress. But perhaps most important in my experience is what I call feeding and nurturing your clients in mediation. I've been to many settlement situations, both in court and to private mediators, where there's not enough food or sustenance for everyone there. And it goes late into the night and clients are hungry, cranky, and thirsty. The last thing you want is for your client to agree grudgingly to a settlement because they're worn down. So if I don't have my clients bring up their own refreshments, I make sure that I have a briefcase with water bottles, protein bars, nuts, and other things that can get us through the long haul. Finally, I try to make sure that we bring along a settlement agreement that states what we are looking for so that in the heat of the moment or under stress after long hours, we don't overlook an important term. I hope you'll bear these tips in mind as you prepare to accompany your clients to mediation. Thank you again for the privilege of listening to me.